This is a short tutorial video on resolving any timer countdown issues on your clamshell press. Basically, when you close the handle of this press, the timer should start counting down. It should say timing and close. And as you open the handle, of course, the timer should then say open on the screen. Very simple. Sometimes when you close the handle, uh, it might not consistently time down or it'll just keep saying open on the screen. Uh, or when you turn the press on it immediately starts counting down regardless of uh, uh, where the handle is. First thing you want to check is this is your timer sensor. So if you look at your control screen usually on the left side on this arm there's a little wire that just comes to an end and goes nowhere. That is a tilt sensor. It senses when the handle is tilting up and when the handle is tilting down. And basically, when it's pointing downward, let's say at a 30 degree down angle, kind of uh, you know toward the floor or down toward your knees, if it's pointing downward, the timer will count down. And once it's pointing slightly upwards, if you can see that in there, the timer will reset. And that's the key, is we want to make sure that that points downward and the timer starts. And then it's pointing upwards again, and we'll try and look in there view of that. It's pointing slightly upwards and the timer resets and says open. And that's it. That's why the timer starts and stops is because of this tilt sensor right here pointing downward or upwards. You can loosen that. Loosen that clip at this screw right here and then you can point it up or down uh, as you need to test it. Uh, you can point it all the way down to see the timer counting. You can point it all the way up to see the timer say open. Uh, and then just uh, tighten it in a position that helps. If, however, the press is still not responding right, it's not counting when you close the press, and it's not opening and saying open when you open the press, it might be unplugged from the inside. So you open up your back control console. There's four screws that hold this on. You can pop that open and just take a quick peek inside, and you'll see this black connector, this black six-pin connector right next to this lime green plug. You might have different colored wires in here. That comes unplugged sometimes some uh, easily in transit or in uh, use over the years. And basically it's got six holes in it. I'm not sure you can see that contrast, but there's six holes in this plug corresponding to six gold pins. And basically you want to make sure that you plug all six holes into all six gold pins. It's very easy to plug it into only three gold pins or four instead of all six. So you want to make sure when you plug that in, you've got it plugged into all six gold pins, not just three or four. Once you know that that's definitely plugged into all six pins, and you know that your tilt sensor is pointing down when the press is closed, and pointing slightly upwards when the press is open, your timer will work. If the timer still does not operate properly, it means that perhaps you just changed out your control board and it hasn't been programmed for the model. Uh, on our support page you can get the model programming instructions to program the circuit board for this model press. You have to tell the circuit board which model press you have. Go through that, play with those uh, adjustments, and you'll be just fine. Thanks.